everyone, I'm Megan Lee, and welcome to the Noob Reviews. Today is Manga Mondays, and, I just lost my note, um, and I've been going through Death Note, so thus far, I think I'm on chapter 6, Death Note, how to use it. A god of death can extend his life by putting human names on the note, but humans cannot extend their own life by doing that. A person can shorten his or her own life by using the note, and the human being who becomes the owner of the death note can, in exchange for half of his or her remaining life, get the eyeballs of the god of death, which will enable him or her to see a human's name and that human's remaining lifetime when looking through them. Which is kind of weird. Like, who would want that power? Like, I want to know how much, like, how many years this person has left. I don't know if I'd really care about that. I don't want to know how many years I have left, and I... I don't know. I mean, I guess there's some way you could manipulate that, but I, I, I don't think that's, like, the best part of having the death note. You know what I'm saying? It's just not. Uh, a god of death cannot be killed, even if stabbed in his heart with a knife or shot in the head with a gun. However, there are ways to kill a god of death, which are not generally known to the gods of death. So you can kill them, but we have no idea, and they have no idea. Word. Yeah, so the... Ryuk is, has been trying, well, he's not trying to convince Light, but he's been, he has just told Light in the previous chapter, which I may or may not have gone over with you guys, um, that he can see, like, the remaining years and the, the date and time of uh, Light's death. And so he's telling Light how, um, how he can have this power for himself, which I, again... I don't, I don't know why someone would want that power. If you have an idea of why you would want the power of being able to see somebody's lifespan when you look at them, well, let me know, because I feel like that's just not worth giving up your life to see somebody else's remaining life span. I, I don't know what the positive of that would be. But maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. Yeah, he says, half of my remaining life for Shinigami's eyes. Just look at someone's face and see his name. No, apparently Light thinks that would be great. He said, if your deal would extend my life, I'd think about it. But if it's going to shorten it, there's nothing to think about. And so, as we've been going along, every chapter of Death Note, Light has gotten, like, more and more caught up in himself. And he basically is starting to see himself as a god now. Um, because he has so much power in controlling other people's lives. And he is creating a criminal-free utopia. Which is very interesting. What makes somebody a criminal? Who decides, you know, why this person gets to die or that person? Things are going to get, I think, as we continue on, things are going to get really, really, like, you're going to hit a lot of gray areas. Because at first, he's, he's like, right and still right now, he is just killing, like, criminals. People who are in jail for, for killing, for murder and rape and all that kind of stuff, right? So, I mean, I think all of us would kind of forgive someone using that power. But over time, like, having such power can be very corrupting. And that's what we're slowly seeing in light. And Ryuk is slowly seeing this and doesn't actually care because he's completely amused by this. Like, remember, Ryuk started this to uh, amuse himself. So it's interesting. Ryuk is playing with light. Like, light is a toy, sort of. And light is playing with other people's lives. Ryuk um, does kind of respect light because light has never, never tried to, like, impress Ryuk, to get information out of him, to prove anything to him. He's never tried to kiss his butt, nothing. So Ryuk has a tiny bit of almost respect for him in a way if that makes sense it's interesting just slight respect a uh, god of death almost sort of respecting a human or as much as he can respect a human and he also tells light he's a fine shinigami like he's kind of a shinigami of his own the funny thing is as they go along ryuk just comes up with the rules just randomly tells him and Light says, like, are there more rules? Ryuk goes, no, probably not. Like, 
Ryuk doesn't even know all the rules, or he's just withholding them and handing them out to Light as time passes to kind of, again, hes I feel like he's kind of toying with Light a little bit. At this point, he's being followed by FBI agents from the United States who have come to Japan, are working with the Japanese police force there, and he's about to do something, yikes. He's about to do something, yikes, guys. So he's got a list of all of them. He gets them from his dad's computer, which he has hacked into. So this is what he did before he starts on the FBI list. He picks three random criminals. One guy escaped and went to the nearest toilet, like I wrote into the notebook. Another guy drew the same picture I drew into the notebook on the wall of his cell. Another guy left a note using the same words I wrote in his notebook. So everybody is leaving, not just like a suicide note, but some sort of a note or sign. These three did exactly what I wrote after writing heart attack is a cause of death. Time of death was probably what I put too. The other three I deliberately wrote in practically impossible details. For one I wrote dies at 6 p.m. today in front of the Eiffel Tower in France. It's physically impossible. So he's trying to like, he's also having people die in random places around the world. He's really playing with how far he can reach. He's having them leave cryptic messages about L. Anything to put L, this, I'm assuming it's kind of like a secret agent, off his scent. I feel like this L has some sort of power or something, insight. Kind of like Ryuk and the Death Note give Light some insight. L has, has some insight. On top of that, the kid is keeping high test scores at school, which is very impressive, but important because if his... If anything in his life became abnormal, his grades fell, he could be suspect by the FBI who's following him. So he's doing a lot, a lot of experiments. He's doing a lot of experiments while he attempts to work out how to keep the FBI off his trail. This is like kind of a cool picture. Look at this. Look at that art. What the? So dark and moody. Moody. Death note how to use it. The conditions for death will not be realized unless it is physically impossible. Sorry, excuse me. Conditions for death will not be realized unless it is physically possible for that human or it is reason or it is reasonably assumed to be carried out by that human. So they can't do everything that your imagination can come up with. Like he had one in here, um, one inmate before they died in the directions in the book. His directions were that they would draw a picture of L. But since they've, this criminal has never seen L, they literally just drew like a body with an L on the face, where the face would be. So you can't draw something you've never seen. You can't get somebody else to draw something they've never seen. Just like he cannot kill someone he's never seen. He has to see their face. He has to see their face in his head while he writes their name. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Kind of the same concept. Now he plans the biggest cover-up ever. I'm quite impressed by this cover-up that he planned. Um, he's writing down all these details in the book, calls up a girl, plans a date with her, goes out on a date. Super normal. The person who's tailing him, the FBI agent, follows him to see the girl who's like obsessed with him. Gosh, I get you all to myself today, Light. Honey, if you knew who what he was like. And look at his face. Like, you can see in his face, he's not that impressed with her. Like, his face is not that impressed. She's, like, all admiring him, and he's like, eh, whatever. She's like, oh my gosh, Light. And he's like, mm. Honey, he'd be using you. Okay. So, off they go. They're taking the bus. They're going to some amusement park. FBI agent follows, sits behind him on the bus. Everything's going according to plan. We got this nice little map of the bus where everybody is, and we get... This criminal getting on board the bus holds up the bus and the FBI agent can see light, right? He is watching light the whole time. So light hasn't done anything that would prove that he is somehow controlling criminals, right? Nothing because this FBI agent is literally sitting behind him on this bus. So this criminal holds up the bus with a, with a gun, does everything that Light wrote down in the death note. And then Light does something interesting. He writes a note to the girl he's with, and it says, don't worry, Yuri, it'll be okay. I'm going to look for a chance to grab the guy's arm and pin it down so he can't use the gun. 
My dad's a detective, and he's taught me what to do in emergencies like this. The guy's pretty small and weak-looking. I'm sure I can restrain him. And this FBI agent is behind Light talking to him. He and Light are talking to each other. So Light writes down that note, and then makes sure that the agent behind him sees this. The agent starts to panic, reveals to Light that he is an FBI agent and that he is going to handle it. So then Light puts the note in his pocket, and then Light says, you need to prove to me that you're an FBI agent. And he's not turning around, okay? He can't see this guy to his face. They're just kind of like talking. He's kind of just talking over his shoulder. So this guy shows his ID to Light. So now Light knows what his face looks like. Light knows what his face looks like. And Light goes, oh, okay, okay. I trust you, sure, yeah. But this FBI agent in particular is trying to keep a low profile. He doesn't want the Japanese police force to know he's here. So, like, making a big deal. He's not, like, he's been between a, a rock and a hard place. He wants to save himself and also not make a big obvious deal. Him. As, so they're having this whole conversation. The criminal sees them having a conversation in the back of the bus, comes forward, Light accidentally drops the note that he's written on the floor. Criminal picks it up, and it's a whole separate note that we never saw. And it says, Miami Park Bus Stop, 1127 Spaceland Bus Stop. And the guy asks, is this where you're meeting your date? Drop something again, and I'll shoot you. And Light goes, oh, okay, mm -hmm, yep, no problem. FBI agent goes to make a move. Ryuk is all of a sudden seen by the criminal because... I did not realize this because the criminal picked up this note. The note that he picked up with the time on it was from the death note. And if you touch the death note, you can now see Ryuk. So now this criminal is like freaking out because he sees Ryuk, who's like looks like a monster. Now the criminal looks like he's absolutely bonkers insane. This is the most detailed I don't even know what to call this. This is the most detailed plan that Light has ever come up with. Literally the most detailed plan. So now this guy can see the monster, shoots the monster. He's freaking out, doesn't even care about holding up the bus anymore. And remember, Shinigami can't die. You can hit them multiple times, etc. Criminal asks for the bus to be stopped, jumps off the bus, gets run over by a car. This criminal is dead at 11.45, because in the death note at home, Light wrote down all those details. Crazy! That was like the craziest death, most detailed death ever. Craziest and most detailed. The page taken from the death note, or even a fragment of the page, contains the full effects of the note. This is what we learned now. The instrument to write with can be anything, cosmetics, blood, as long as it can write directly onto the note and remains as legible letters. Even the original owners of the death note, gods of death, do not know much about the note. So Ryuk is kind of learning as he goes. All right, so now we've come, here we are at chapter eight. Criminal is dead, the bus stops, police come. The FBI agent kind of just like leaves because he don't want to be involved and like blow his cover because he's like undercover. Um, and then Ryuk is uh, uh, not Ryuk. And then and then Light tells his date like date's over, we're done. This was so freaky. I just I just want to go home. And this girl is like, oh my gosh, I just really want to be with you. Me 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 me. Ugh. Who wants to get questioned by the cops? Did they actually go? Yes. She convinced him because, I forgot about this, I thought they left, like he went home, but she, she said, who wants to be questioned by the cops? So they leave too. So both Light and the FBI agent are gonzo. This FBI agent has a Japanese girlfriend who he's brought back to Japan so he can meet her family. She's actually really, really pretty, look at her. I cannot have bangs. She looks so good with bangs. I don't know what it is with anime and manga characters. They look good with bangs. I look like I'm freaking 12. It's horrible. Alrighty. So now, here's how we get a list of all the FBI agents who are involved in trying to figure out who is manipulating, who is killing off criminals. Light is a hacker. So he hacks, he uses that FBI agent's name. He's got his face now in his head and hacks in his dad's computer, writes an email asking for the names and faces of all the FBI agents in Japan. 
Next day, at his dad's work, they find out that 12 FBI agents have been found dead. This is the first time Light has killed somebody who's not actually a criminal. So he's starting down, like, the dark path now. He's starting down that dark path. This is, this is the beginning of the end, in my opinion. Beginning of the end. Because so far, all he's done is kill criminals. Now, he's killed 12 FBI agents. And left behind very, very upset girlfriend. Who also happens to be a retired FBI agent. So, dun, dun, dun. chapter 9 is gonna get interesting. Because that girl, she's out for revenge. Because she knows, she knows something's out. Because, like, her FBI agent boyfriend told her things. Which I don't think you're supposed to do that. But because she used to be an FBI agent, I guess he told her details of the case he was on. Still don't think you're supposed to do that, but he did. Anyway. So, yeah. Light is headed down a dark path now. Officially. 100% for sure. And he's also pissed off the U.S. So, uh, we'll see what happens. It's just, just... Wow. All right, y'all. That's Death Note. Uh, I did not read ahead in Demon Slayer because I lost my book. And then I found it again, and I was like, mm, it's too late. So, uh, next Monday we'll have both a video of Death Note and a Demon Slayer video review. So I'm going to do two next Monday. Um, I'm really, now that I finally got power and the ice storm is done, because I was without power basically all week, all week last week, I am finally, finally going to do my independent comic book review of Anti-Steam Junk Western. Finally, on Wednesday. So look forward to that, and I will see you guys. Oh, tonight I'm doing a live stream. Uh-huh. I'll see you then.